Yo YouTube, how's everybody doing? This is Speed Free 2010. Welcome you back to Los Santos Tuners and Grand Theft Auto 5. And alright, so we test driven in the last two videos. We test drove the Toyota Celica GT4, aka the Karen Coleco GTF, the Honest Euros, aka the Nissan 370Z, and now we have this thing. The Fister Comet S2. Primarily based off of the 2020 Porsche 911 Turbo S. More specifically, under the name 992 Generation. Um, this car currently is not released, but it will be released next week. Next uh, Thursday. Definitely going to set us back a few million. But I'm definitely gonna take this one out for a spin. I think this is definitely a first uh, day one buy for me. So I don't care if I get the trade price or not. I'm definitely buying it. And I have seen the customization for it. I won't spoil it, but I'm getting some serious uh, Need for Speed uh, high stakes vibes for me from the uh, customization. Uh, anyway, I'll let y'all see it when I get to it. But anyway, let's get this thing out. Unlike the. Uh, Porsche 911, uh, unlike a lot of the Porsche 911 turbos, which are mostly all-wheel drive now, this one is rear-wheel drive. It's pretty much similar to the 911 GT3. Anyway, we're gonna do three laps around this thing. Oh, and before I do, I meant I forgot to do this in the uh, other two. Where I just take a lap uh, in the. Uh, in uh, first person, we got uh, a new interior, very, very Porsche like. And anyway, here we go. Uh, out of all the cars that Porsches has made, the 911 Turbos have always been my favorite personally. My favorite one has to be the 993 from the mid to late 90s, um, 95 to about 98. It was the the last of the air cooled, um, and this was before the 99s came out, aka the 996s. And the 993, my personal favorite was the first was might have been the last air cooled Porsche to come out of that era, but it was also the first Porsche to have twin turbochargers and an all wheel drive system. And which would be a, pretty much a staple for a lot of 911 turbos today. Pretty much almost all of them. Man, this car, this camera is kind of centered high because on the uh, customization which I've seen on YouTube, uh, it's got a couple of roof ornaments on it. So, yeah, this thing is quick and it handles nice. It stays, it's pretty planted. Yeah, and it actually sounds good like a Porsche. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how it's I don't know how it's going to stack up against the other sports cars, but I'm pretty sure it's I think it's going to be faster than the Comet SR. I think. So I'm definitely looking uh, forward to this one. I can't even quite grab. I just I just forgot what lap I'm what lap I'm on. I'm on the third lap or second. Screw it. I'll just go one more time. And I'll end the test drives here. Like I just said earlier, this car is coming out next week, probably next uh, Thursday. So uh, be on the lookout. Test drive it now if you haven't, so you can get a, a feel for it. Oh, speaking of test driving, is Rockstar going to be doing this for every new car? Like, since this one is, uh, think about it, like, since this one is coming out next week, let's say once this come out is, are they going to put another drifty car on here that we can test out before the week it comes out? 
if they did I think that would be a very good idea at the same time I think they should also switch it up with some older cars that I think could fit the uh, tuner DLC tuner theme DLC you know just give other car just give up some older cars that haven't been uh, I wouldn't say haven't uh, that I think would fit but also wouldn't fit like hmm maybe throw up some supercars or something just give them a, a test drive or something if not that's fine too anyway that's the end of the test drive of the comet the brand new comet s2 leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new if you did and i'll see you in the next one i hope y'all i hope y'all continuing to join the dlc <laughs> i know i am anyways peace